lot of liberal friends. You ever try to argue with liberal people? They're worse than bigots. If you're a liberal, I gotta go, fine. Every generalization, every stereotype, nothing is true. Okay, uh, Filipinos don't eat dogs. Fine. A lot of Italian businesses are very legitimate. Fine. No, I've never seen an Italian woman with a mustache. Fine. A black man's butt is not higher up than a white guy's butt. Fine. Black people at self-control in movie theaters, sometimes they shut up. Okay, fine. Japanese tourists never have photo equipment. I'm always well endowed. Fine. Jewish people are rushing to pick up a check. Okay, fine. Chinese people are excellent drivers. Fine. Fine. Puerto Ricans are always using birth control methods. Might I add? Fine. No, millions of Mexicans are at home right now without one velvet painting. <laughs> Fine, ladies and gentlemen, please stop it. Thank you very much. Stop it. Please, please, I need some help. It's amateur night, ladies and gentlemen. This is, uh-oh, thank you. Hello, amateur night, which means uh, that we bring up people, you know, those people who they think they're funny, these jerks, these idiots, they're, they're flipping the burgers down at Jack in the Box, they make love to their wife, they turn over, they tell a joke, uh, uh, these morning DJs. Are they the worst? Ladies and gentlemen, they're all here tonight, and we're going to start off the show with this, uh, with a high school kid, and uh, his name is Marty Seltzer. Let's bring him out here, ladies and gentlemen. The comedy stylist is Mr. Marty Seltzer. Marty! Let's bring him out here, ladies and gentlemen. Marty Seltzer. Is that, is that a stage name? I hope, I hope it's not. No pies. Okay, don't, don't call any pies. You're just mad because you're short. Uh, I'm sorry I'm late tonight. But, uh, uh, <clears throat> but uh, I, I, I was, I was driving in. I'm really upset. I'm freaking out. I, I heard on the radio. Anybody hear it? Anyone? Uh, one of my heroes, Stevie Wonder, was arrested for murder. Apparently, Stevie got his eyesight back and uh, strangled the guy. Who's been... Apparently, Stevie got his eyesight back and killed the guy who's been doing his hair for the past ten years. Hey, you know, he strangled him with his beads. My girlfriend, she went to a, she went to a fat farm. What do they grow? My girlfriend, she's always, she's always dieting, you know, she's dieting. She's on a head cheese diet. Anybody ever heard of a head cheese sandwich? What is it? Where do they get it?
Right? The old uh, Romeo and Juliet speech. You're a Montague, and I'm a Capulet, and the two and just... And that's right. West Side Story was a fluke? West Side Story was a movie. I mean, you gotta get up at 6 o'clock in the morning just so we can hold hands. Oh, so we uh, just hold hands. Huh? You know what I mean. Yes, I do, and you're the one who's afraid to be with me. Like it would play at your mom's bridge club. Besides, my father would have a stroke. Your father likes me. He tolerates you. It can't be a surprise. I mean, come on, think about what's been happening at school. Who cares? I care. Don't. Now, I hate the way you are right now. Tell you something. What? I can't. Look, it's over. Give me back the ball. Oh, hey, man, I tried, but I guess I'm not as athletically inclined as you people is. <laughs> let, let him go, Tim. <laughs> when your old man needs a job, you tell him to come by my father's plant. We need a new janitor. <laughs> oh, please, let him go. Let him go. <laughs> We're going to get you shines bust back out of here. Watch. <laughs> And then you back inside right after lunch period. Hulk, where's Pinhole? Not until 11. It is 11. Apparently, Stevie got his eyesight back and killed the guy who's been fixing his hair for the last 10 years. Anybody ever had a head cheese sandwich? I mean, head cheese. Where do they get it? There's a lot of racial tension at uh, Lincoln High. I can see that. Tell me something I don't already know. Hey, I'm sorry, but I didn't make the march on Washington. That's apparent. Whoa, whoa. Go easy, guys. You know, when I was your age, we couldn't join the force unless we out-tested everybody else. You know, we'd all hope this stuff had ended in 1967 in Newark, Detroit. All this stuff about whose country it is and all. It stinks. Doesn't it, Harry? Hey, Captain, I'm just glad to be here. You know how much a stereo costs in Tokyo? He knows what you mean, Captain. So do I. 
Do you? Then what about last year, Howard Beach? You know what that means? Well, the last couple of administrations pulling back on affirmative action, Bernard Getz. It's starting all over again. Hey, come on, Captain. Maybe it was only a fist fight. And maybe it wasn't. And I'm not so sure Bernard Getz was wrong. Back to the 1950s, huh, Hoffs? Back to when black women weren't getting my kind of jobs. Hanson, my report says we're looking at a potential race riot. Is that what you want to call what happened? Let's just call it a fist fight for now, but uh, don't tell Jesse Jackson on me. Yeah. Okay, yeah, there's some problems over at Lincoln. Uh, they got a new black principal in a mostly white school. Guy's kind of a nut about the busing. And it could get worse. Oh, come on, Captain. I grew up in all this whitey's got your job stuff. Hoss, what does your father do for a living? You know what he does. Yeah, I just want to hear you say it out loud. He's a dentist. A dentist. Mine was a bellboy. Hanson, keep working Lincoln High from the inside. Sorry I'm late. I was uh, working on some stuff. Okay, okay. So, Stevie Wonder, right? He gets arrested for murder. Whoa, tough room. Well, in general, I must admit I was pleasantly surprised by yesterday's test results. Uh, although, Tom, even though you're new here, I'll expect better next time. Hydrogen peroxide is what punk rockers use to bleach their hair. <laughs> but is also rocket fuel. Nice job. You only missed one. I didn't miss any. Rub it in. And rub this man, it isn't wrong. This answer is correct, Mr. Haller. Hey, you did a great job, Patrick, but I'm afraid it's not. The hell it isn't. Come on, take it easy so you get an A minus. This is crap. Uh, Mr. Riley, we'll discuss this later and I'll explain. Not later, now. Heat is energy. Any idiot knows that. I didn't. <laughs> Patrick. We'll talk after class, all right? Heat is energy, and I'm not going to take an A minus on a perfect paper. Heat is energy, but energy isn't always heat. That's crap, man. Patrick, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to leave the class. You don't have to ask.
we've got a race riot going on here. Watts was a race riot, Mr. Haller. George, we need help. I'm the principal here, Bill. Go back to your classroom. Now, this will settle down. Please. Inside. So what's up with the tears, champ? I hate this day. It just takes some time, that's all. Ready for Saturday? This is a big meet for both of you. Well, I, th I think your daughter's more ready than I am, sir. She better be. You haven't told him, have you? Oh, yeah, sure. You don't get it, do you? Marty Seltzer? What's wrong with that? It's stupid. You think Jerry Lewis is just a funny name, huh? No. That guy's a comical genius. Just ask the French. Lewis is big box office in Paris. And you know why? Eh? Because he's funny. That's for those wire cutters. He is? Hey, watch it, Penn Hall. He's one of the greats. You got him, Hope, Skelton. Very funny guys, these guys are. All of them. Except maybe Hope. A robbery last night at home of Alan Shelton, netted Robert. Great, Channel Six and a Half. You think maybe it's my material? Absolutely. Evidently. That stuff with Stevie Wonder, him being blind and all that? That ain't funny. Head cheese. Personally, I happen to like head cheese. Never offend your audience. Now, you want to be funny? Listen to me. I am funny. Now, when do you go on again? Amateur night is every Tuesday. That ain't a lot of time. Just want to be as funny on stage as I am at work, you know? Look, you're funny at work because people hate being there and they're bored. You work a club, you better have a product because people pay a cover. You don't make them laugh, it's like stealing. Stealing? Grand Theft Comedy, Penhall. some of the things we can say to each other that hurt. Not all of them, but some of them. Nobody could cover them all. And no matter on what side of those words you happen to be, you got to know that there are too many of them. And there's always going to be more. So what? Well, I'm not the kind of guy who gets a tear in his eye every time he hears the I have a dream speech. You don't have to like me. I don't have to like you. But nobody has done anything bad enough here at Lincoln High to make anybody hate each other. At least, not yet. H. A T E. Simple word. Four letters. Hurt is four letters too, and so does love. 
I'm not naive enough to ask you people to love each other, but I can ask you to live with each other. I'm new here. When I came to your school, I brought a lot of black boys and girls with me, not because I wanted to stir up trouble or act like some kind of bleeding heart that was going to turn the world into a wonderful, loving rainbow. I did it because I'm a man who believes in following rules, and my rules tell me that I have to bus in a black student population of 22%. Anybody has a problem with that, I'd be glad to talk to them. Anybody's parents that has a problem with that can go to hell. Now, on Saturday, Lincoln High has the honor of hosting the state finals in track. I'm asking all of us to look inside ourselves and find the one thing that we all share. I guess it's called pride. Let that pride help us act in a way that we can all be proud of. Let it help us make a little bigger footprint in the sand. Make it a little easier for anyone who wants to follow us. Six consecutive victories to this afternoon's meeting. Sheldon for Lincoln High in the number eight lane coming up to challenge, but Satrano clears the last hurdle in good position. Hi, you now. You're that new kid, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody said you were kind of cute. It's a rumor. And Satrano holds on for the victory. Sheldon yeah. second and third for Lincoln. All competitors for the men's 400 meter final please report to the starting hall. <laughs> Going into the 400 meters, Lincoln High leads the meet with 109 points. Lafayette in second place with I'm sorry, Daddy, I'm sick. Place with 77 points. Coming up I used to get sick before me, too. I'm kind of sick. Don't Lincoln's let them beat you range. down, baby. You can always tell a winner in the gate. You're a winner. I can't talk to you. Any time, baby. Win that race out there today. Win it in their own backyard. Win it for all the crap we had to wade through to get here. Good luck out there today, Mark. Nicolette. Lincoln High is proud to host this year's track and field state finals, and we thank you for your support. And I thought if our uh, parents talked like that, we were supposed to tell them to go to hell. This is the final call for the men's 400 meter. All competitors report to the starting line at this time. Meters featuring Lincoln High's own Mark Hardy, holder of the state record. So, uh, what do you want to win? <laughs> Are you kidding? Mark, guys, Fox. Not me, I want Patrick Riley. He's my chemistry lab partner. <laughs> uh, I don't want any of them to win. Oh, uh, the last American liberal. Oh, come on. Just talk to my dad. No, thanks. You ready? Hey, good luck, Brian. You okay? Look, if you've got a problem with me, let's settle it. I mean, you're supposed to be my rabbit in this race. Yeah, yeah. I am not anybody's rabbit. That's how we got to the finals, Pat. Come on. That's how you got to the finals. I just carried your candle. You think you can win without that? I know I can. Well, I know I can, too. And if I do, you stay the hell away from Nikki Messiah. And you good enough to make that big a bet? Runners, on your marks.
get set. think? Doesn't matter what I think. Words out all over school that some white teacher ran Nikki down on purpose. Is that a possibility? Well, I hope not. I mean, I can't believe it if they did. I can. Well, it could have been a suicide attempt. Yeah, right. Sorry. It's just that when I hear things like I can't believe it, it makes me a little nuts. I'm still not buying the attempted suicide excuse. I mean, Nikki Messiah is a beautiful girl, had everything going for her. Why would she try and kill herself? Because maybe the rainbow wasn't enough. No, that was my wife's favorite play. Mine, too. So what's going to happen now? Who knows? It could be some kind of retaliation. All right. You stay close to her. Okie doke. Being black's been very different for you. I know. It's hard for me to say I'm sorry about how I feel, but I'm trying. I know that, too. I'm confused. Still? Yeah, still. Listen, I got to ask you this. Am I funny? No. Excuse me. Is that yeah. true? Sometimes. Hey, are you coming on Tuesday? I don't know. Hope's, um, you got a minute? 
Nice. I told you, only next of kin are allowed to see Miss Messiah. And I told you that I am her next of kin. I mean, I'm her boyfriend. Mark. What are you doing here? I want to see her. I think you've done enough already. Nurse, no one sees my daughter. Mr. Messiah, is she going to be okay? Is she? Is she going to be okay? Why don't you just go home? Who's that? That's Mark Harding. The guy's like perfect in school. What's he doing here? I don't know. Maybe he's a friend of Nikki's. Come on, Patrick. Easy, drop the gun. What are you doing here, man? I'm here. What difference does it make? It makes a hell of a difference, man. You gonna bust this medicate, nigga? I'm a cop working undercover. Yeah, you're doing a hell of a job. Look, man. I like you. Just stay out of this. I can't. Come on, drop the gun, Patrick. Why should I? Because this is wrong. Huh, bro? This is wrong? Come on, man. I think he's in the hospital. So you killed someone else? He's dead? Drop the gun, Patrick. Mark. I love him, Daddy. Don't hate me, Daddy. We gonna let these shines get away with this? No! Fine, we gonna let 
Patrick Riley and his brothers blow a hole in Mark Hardy? I mean, come on now, he's one of our best. No! Now they say we can't even get into our own school. We need a day off to cool out. Well, I don't want to cool out. And I'm not going to let him try and run us off from where our parents worked to get us to. Well, my old man moved out of that cesspool so he could raise his family right. And now they're moving right back in again. Who says you was raised right, Boyd? You love him so much, Walter? Why don't you go live with him, huh? Why don't you let him take your dad's job? Since when your daddy have a job to take? <laughs> Since today. The day I started getting one back for it. Yeah! Today is the day we take back what's ours! Yeah! You think this is a good idea? I doubt it. We still got a job to do. Let's get inside. Maybe we should just radio into Fuller. What, make him right? Yeah. Okay, okay, I'm here. I'm just a little worried. Well, don't be. You're with me. Oh, I forgot. The fonts. Nigger lover! So Nikki's gonna be all right. But how do we know they still didn't do it to her? Well, we don't. But those guys outside know that Patrick Riley shot Mark. Yeah, but who started it, man? Yeah. I mean, you come in here after the fact and under a badge? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Maybe we shouldn't believe you either. Maybe not. Hey, how is Hardy? Who cares, man? Hey, man, I do. I mean, he's my quarterback. Well, he ain't gonna be throwing passes for a while, but I hear he's okay. So what you saying? We should just sit back and take it? What I'm saying is that somebody should try to do what's right. You can afford to do what's right. You're white. That's right. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That's right. Me? I gotta protect myself. I'm gonna do what I got to do. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 Nikki's pregnant, isn't she? Who are you? We're cops. Terrific. Come on, this is getting a little ridiculous. Mark, it's your baby, isn't it? Yes. I didn't want her to have an abortion. Is that why Nikki tried to kill herself? There's a lot more to it than that. It's everything. The baby. Her father, kids at school. Who thought this was a racially motivated attempted murder? And you didn't say anything? Why? You gotta help us.
someone tried to kill me. Look, you ain't got to cover up for nobody. Not after what they did to you. I'm not. I tried to kill myself. I tried to do that because I'm going to have a baby. It's our baby. And we're going to have it together. Whether you people like it or not. So if you want to kill each other, Find a better reason. Someone tell me what I'm doing here. Relax, Captain. Come on, struggling with a career change. Give me a break. Hey, for ten dollars to cover, I hope he makes it. And then they talk about a sock missing from a dryer. Hey, I thought you were going on. No way. Cause when I hit the stage, well, I'm doing my thing. I'm more like LL Cool J than I am like Alan King. Up this place. I can't have a blow. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Let's welcome to our stage the comedy stylings of Sal Banducci. Sal? Sal? Sal Banducci? Is that another stage name? Hey, no way, Bub. I didn't change mine because once I knew you, my parents changed theirs. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, but I tell you, driving in tonight, I heard something that just freaked me out. Stevie Wonder was arrested for murder. I still have a dream. Yes. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day, this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Yeah. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will they be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream. Yes. 